It's been a while since I've recorded a video in the morning and I forgot just how cold it can get up here, especially at night. Uh, luckily for me, I have my nice sweatshirt and a nice warm cup of coffee. Also, if you get married and your friends know you love coffee, you're going to find yourself having a lot of cups like this. I don't know if you can see that very well, but as Mr. Those are like antlers right there but mister and then there's a mrs one of course and then there's a lot of different cups just like that <laughs> and although i thoroughly enjoy making a whole entire video about coffee that's not what this video is all about this video is about how to get a computer science internship so there's essentially four steps to this process one be a computer science major and you don't actually necessarily need to be a computer science major to get a computer science internship but it's a lot easier and that's most of my audience so that's what we're going to go with if you're computer engineering or something similar then you could very well potentially get a computer science internship as well but that's out of my my scope so i'm just going to focus on computer science majors two find companies that you would like to work for, three, apply to those companies, and four, go through the interview process. Now, we're just essentially gonna be talking about two and three, whereas one, that's kind of, you know, you're either a computer science major or you're not, and then four, going through the interview process, I've made a few different videos on that before, kind of how to approach the interview process, the mindset going into it, but before you get to the interview process, as discussed earlier in this video, you need to figure out what companies you wanna work for and apply to those companies. Now, there are many different ways to go about this depending on your exact situation, but something that can essentially be applied to everyone, one, career fairs. You can go to career fairs at your school or schools nearby or hosting. Online, whether that be on something like Indeed.com or you're going to the company's actual website, seeing their open internship positions, or just cold emailing them. I actually found my NASA and Norfolk Southern internship online. And last, but probably the most important, networking. When it comes to career fairs, if you don't know what that is, basically a bunch of companies come to your school, they set up tables around and they sit there and essentially network with the students. As a student, what you want to do at career fairs is bring plenty of copies of your resume, you know, carry them around in a manila folder to look professional and then dress like business casual at least. I mean, you can get by with like just a polo and khakis or what have you, but this is your first impression. You wanna make a good first impression and it doesn't matter if you're a programmer or whatever, you know, I dress like this to work, but your first impression is a little bit different than your day-to-day -day life. So make sure you dress well, present yourself well, speak well, and just go from table to table, company to company, be confident as you can, just network. I'd also recommend looking at the companies online. If you know a particular amount of companies are gonna be coming to career fairs and what those companies are, look into them a little bit so you know what to talk about. If it's a railroad company, you want to know a little bit about the railroad and what this company has to do with the railroad, so on and so forth. You, you get what I mean. And that's a good segue into applying online. So you can find out about these companies online, but you can also find out about the positions they offer online, whether that be, like I said, indeed.com or on their actual website. And the main thing to do here, since you have the luxury of studying up on the actual internship position is catering your resume to that internship position. If they're asking for someone that can do X, Y, and Z, make sure that you can do X, Y, and Z. Make sure you list that on your resume and then send that off to them. In all honesty, although I got two of my internships online, I never wrote a cover letter. And what would better your chances when applying to any company is networking. If you know anybody in the company, that will help you tremendously. I didn't have that luxury at either of my internships, but I'm sure if there's somebody that is on the same playing field as me, but they knew someone at one of these companies, they'd have the leg up for the most part. So in order to network, get involved in clubs at your school. For me, it was the ACM out of you, which is the Association for Computational Machinery, if I recall correctly. And we would have speakers come in from different companies talking about their job, talking about their company. And then you would want to network with them, get some business cards, make a good first impression on them. Hopefully they remember you. You know, you send them an email, kind of remind them like, hey, I was at, you know, that event that you spoke at, I spoke with you afterwards, you mentioned that you may have an opening for an intern at your company. Here's my resume. What do you think? You know, you just essentially make out an email, send your resume and hope for the best. Follow up maybe a week later for maybe five days later if you haven't heard anything back and then hopefully you'll be selected for the interview process. Now, to better your chances when applying to any company as a computer science major, you can do two things. One, 
build a portfolio. Doing schoolwork is good. And sure, you're gonna have you know a schoolwork portfolio, but showing initiative that you're working on your own projects outside of school is better. It's that much better. Whereas, you know, these are things you need to do because that's what you're doing in school. These are things that you want to do. It shows that you're interested in the field and not just trying to get by your computer science degree. And then that's something for you to show off to potential employers, which will really give you a leg up over the person who just has their computer science classes under their belt. But don't be discouraged. If you don't have a portfolio just yet, you can still apply. It won't hurt to apply to places if you just have, you know, your computer science classes and your computer science portfolio. Just know that it would be better to build your own portfolio. That's all I'm saying. And also something that I didn't do, but I know has helped many people that I know, hackathons. I mean, you showing that you've participated in hackathons is very good, but also the projects that you build in hackathons can be a part of your portfolio. It just shows your initiative within the industry, and that's what people want as their employee. So I hope you guys found some value out of this video. Remember, if you are about to enter that interview process, check out Pramp down below because mock interviews can be a huge help. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video twice if you disliked it, because that'll just cancel out your initial dislike. Till next time, guys. Have a good one. Peace.